By the way, to Katrina Lesnar right here in the front, big thank you to our friends at Wintrust for giving her the Wintrust best seat in the house. Anyone can win these, by the way. Just go to uh, 101WKQX for the keyword. Bless you, yes. So it's right in the front row, Katrina. Yeah. Nice. Hey, Katrina. Right on. All right, you guys, one last question for you. Um, to me, some of our best ideas come like when we're just doing monotonous stuff, like when you're in the shower at Joshua Tree or Naked. cleaning or Naked. something like that, or yeah. like when you first wake up from a dream. Do you ever just get a melody in your head and like have to record it on your iPhone or something like that? That's pretty much all three of those you just listed is exactly when I get melodies. Uh huh. So I always, yeah, I mean, if, as if we need one more reason to always have our phone on us, but that's, um, yeah. I mean, I'm, yes. All the time. <laughs> the answer is all the time. All the time. There's like a, there's a song I just finished that uh, is brand new that like was basically a compilation of three different melodies that happened while I was dreaming and I put them all together and turned it into a song. So That's one of the so first cool. times I've ever done that. But yeah, so it's it's constant. All of our like voice memo things on our phones are just like thousands and thousands of those things. Filled so. up with stuff that just floats in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're talking about Chicago. I think we brushed over that a little bit that you met your fiance here in uh, Chicago at Lollapalooza, right? Yeah, yeah. Is there any story there you want to share, like how that happened? Uh, I mean, for the most part, it literally is in that song, Misconnection. I basically, I was flying from Memphis to Richmond, Virginia, um, and I got stuck here in <coughs> Chicago from weather, so I would have missed my connection to Richmond, and uh, um, Lollapalooza was going on, and my manager, our, the band's manager, um, at the time was really like associated with that festival, and so I knew he had like a place for me to stay, and if I wanted to come out, which I wasn't even sure if I was going to go there just because um, we play a lot of music festivals. And I was like, you know, I might just not. <laughs> <laughs> I might just uh, order some room service <laughs> and go home tomorrow. But um, I'm glad that I didn't. Um, I ended up going out. Radiohead was going to be headlining the next night. And uh, yeah, I met them at, at the front of house for Future. And yeah, it's funny. I've never actually thought about that way. I literally met my fiance uh, while future. watching Future. <laughs> 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 I mean, did Future have his high honor and then you stole her from Future? No, Let's go with yes. <laughs> Let's just make it even cooler. You mean no, but that was Future one of the wife at Future. Yeah, no, totally. Now you guys need to cover a Future song. Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, well, let's do that right now. If only. Well, we got time for one more song if you guys are up for it. We'd love to hear some more music. Uh, one more time, make some noise for the head and the heart. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, when I was a server, I was a server for like, I don't know, 11 years. And I used to have these dreams where like you can't get the food out fast enough. <laughs> now, <laughs> now I just wake up sweating. It's like, oh my God. You try and tune and then you turn on the tuner and it's like wildly out of tune. Uh, That's where those are my dreams now. Whoa.